Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be my April wrap up. I actually, I was about to say how many books I had read this month and I actually have no idea, so I'm not even gonna guess. I feel like I read a pretty good amount. I like never have a physical stack of books anymore. So having five books here in person is like winning for me. Um, I read a few more other physical books, but I borrowed one from a friend and then I also lent her a book that I read this month. So. Anyways, um, we're just going to talk about all the books I read in April, give you guys my star rating, what I thought of them, and all that jazz. So of course we have to pull up Goodreads. If you guys don't follow me, it's always linked in my description um, if you want to see what I'm reading, what I'm thinking, um, if you don't want to wait for these little wrap-ups. Ah, I feel like this month was really good. Um, I do have, I guess let's just keep track of how many books I've read. I'm going to move over for because I have some images to put here. But yeah, let's just get started. Um, starting off with a banger, I ended up reading The Prisoner's Throne, which is the number two book in the duology for The Stolen Heir. Of course, I love Holly Black. I love this series. Something about this series like is just holds a special place in my heart. I think that's because um, The Cruel Prince was like, I feel like the first fantasy I read. And so it just like, it. I just get it. Like, I, I don't even know how to explain it. It's just, it means so much to me. Jude and Cardin, I love you guys. Um, but yeah, I rated this one five stars. Super good. 100% recommend it. I honestly felt like I needed, like, something a little, like, quick. And for me, that's usually romances, specifically Western romances. So I read Swift and Saddled by Ly Lila Sage. I had read Done and Dusted, I think, earlier this year. Uh, like school academic year in August and summertime um, and yeah I rated it four stars it was such a cute and sweet little fun romance I will say I do think I like done and dusted more but this was still really good I I just don't think I like the girl character as much um, nothing against her it's just like I didn't connect with her as much and that was literally it um, but yeah, I read that one. I have a book for school, and that was The Past in Woman, which this is a selected letters. I will not lie, I didn't read every single poem or letter in here. It's letters, not poems. Um, but I did read a majority of them, so that's why I decided to count it. Um, so if you don't know who The Past in Woman are, they are a family, a notable family, English family. And so this is just like a collection of their letters that was found um and this is specifically from the women there's a lot more um so this is like kind of selective um but yeah super interesting because it's from the 15th century so like the 1400s so super interesting um just how they they talk there's one girl in here she like gets eloped basically and that's like a whole bunch of drama um but yeah super interesting there i rated it three stars i tend to rate school books three stars so that's pretty standard. This is a book I actually lent to my friend Anna. It is Grapefruit, a book of instructions and drawings by Yoko Ono. This book is so interesting. I think I ended up rating it four stars or 3.75 stars. 3.75 stars rounded up to a four. Something like that. I don't know. Um, I, I did really enjoy it. It was unlike anything I think I've ever read because it just, yeah, it was just an instruction guidebook, but there was also like prose to it a little bit like poetic prose uh I don't even know if that's a thing I'm just like making up words really um but yeah it was entertaining and some of it hit some of it I, I felt myself just like okay we're just getting through this right now but it's definitely like a fun coffee table book she does say after you read it to burn it and I did not do that so sorry Yoko that one was really good and then I read one of my friends um favorite books and that is one dark window by rachel gillig i will say i have not read the second book and i really need to because i feel like if i have a series and the books are out and i don't like read the books quick it gets pushed back so so bad so encourage me to read i think it's called two twisted crowns encourage me please maybe i'll read that tonight before bed um but yeah i rated this one four books i felt it was pretty interesting um Ashley I think it's one of her five star books um and I thought it was pretty good but it just something about it was not like hitting exactly right and I think people say the second book is even better than the first so I'm really excited and that's why you need to read it but anyways you can't tell we've had a lot of good books I don't think we've had any five stars yet but that's gonna change because I read Pride and Prejudice I'm pretty sure for the second time I don't have any Goodreads data for it but I'm almost positive I have read this before it's just not documented for some reason 
Um, but yeah, this is a five star book. It's beautiful. I love Pride and Prejudice. It's one of my favorite um, classics. I love Jane Austen. I wear a necklace every day that has a little hand, which actually Noelle Gallagher um, on YouTube, booktube, she made this with Anna Luisa. And um, it's based off of like the intimacy of hands, i.e. the hand scene in 2005 Pride and Prejudice. And so yeah, I read this for class, which I love. I'm actually currently writing a paper on it. I am in the midst of finals week when you guys are seeing this and when I'm filming this. So um, yeah, I know this book intimately. I love it. And this is a Penguin edition, which I hadn't read this edition. So nothing really changed, but just just a shout out to it. So I have another school book and this is The Duchess of Malfi. I will say I really enjoyed this. This was a play. Again, this is my medieval course. So it is a 1612, 1613 play. And I never read it before. I ended up rating it four and a half stars, which I feel like is crazy because for school books, like I said, I usually end up rating it like three stars or so. And so that just, if that tells you anything, it's good and I would recommend it. I haven't read a lot of plays in my life, but something about this was just so cool. And I just, the Duchess of, like, it's just, it's really interesting. I don't know. I, I really enjoyed it and I would recommend it. And I'm going to leave it there. Then I read The Fake Mate by Lana Ferguson. This is the first book I read by Lana. I personally loved The Bride. And so everybody was like, if you like The Bride, read this. And I rated it four stars. I don't care. I know people don't like that she went into heat. I And even saying that is like, oh, I feel a little weird saying that. But it was so good. I kind of, it kind of instill lovey. I don't know. Something about it. But I was like giggling, I was like reading it before bed and I was like, oh my gosh. Um, and I didn't know I liked the Omegaverse, but I guess I do. I don't know. I don't know if it's necessarily the Omegaverse that does it for me. We're gonna move on. Okay, and then I read Me Before You. This was part of the, um, the TBR jar prompts that I picked out at the beginning of the month, which I think I picked out four. And I think I read half of them, half of the four, which I'm not necessarily upset with, but I'm not necessarily proud of. But anyways, this was my middle grade or YA novel. I still don't even know if this technically is a YA novel. I, from the internet, it said it was, but if it's not, sorry. Um, but yeah, I have the two other books for this series that I need to read. I rated this one four stars. It was so good. I will say I personally think the movie adaptation did a really good job. I had known that the movie left out a major plot point in the book. And so it was interesting reading it and seeing it uh, form who Louisa is. It was so sad. Like, I hate this trope, but honestly, like it is like, it is beautiful. I, I like I don't know how to explain that it's not but it is and I understand Will Trainer so much and yeah you get a few different perspectives in here which I think is interesting most of it is from Louisa um but yeah it was so good um the again the movie did a good job so I read this and I ended up watching the movie so yeah four star book I read Funny Story by Emily Henry my friend Anna bought this and so she lent it to me because I only buy paperbacks for um my preferred is paperbacks. There's a few series that I do have hardcover, so I end up buying the hardcover. But just to know about me, I am a paper paper burk, paper back girly. <laughs> um, yeah, so I ended up rating this five star stars. I think I read it in like less than 24 hours. I had it done the day after its release, and it was just it was so good. Um, honestly. I need to reread Emily Henry. I honestly kind of like want to do a reading blog where I just read all of Emily Henry's books because it's been so long for certain books and I rank them. But right now where Funny Story lands is it was honestly giving me the same feelings as Happy Place and I was like even contemplating like oh do I like Happy Place or do I like Funny Story more? And so I think my ranking right now is Beach Read because nothing can literally top Beach Read in my opinion. And then I'm pretty sure it's still Happy Place and then it's Funny Story. They're like neck and neck, but something about Happy Place, I read it like going, at, it was like after a breakup and it just, it really got to me. Like I understood the woman so intensely because she had gotten out of a long-term relationship and it's like, what do I do with myself? And so I definitely think I relate to that one a little bit more, but Funny Story is so good. 
And then after funny story, I think it would be book lovers. Um, and then people we meet on vacation. All of them are five stars, but I do think that would be my ranking as of like where I'm where I'm at with like having read them a few years ago. I have two more books, and the second to last one is Paris the Memoir. I read this one four stars. It was super interesting. I will say it took me forever, so I think that kind of took down the ratings because my audiobook um, was like relapsed or something like that. So it was really interesting. I Paris is like story of like abuse through the system of like you send like your bad kids to camp. I don't know what that's called, which I should because I listened to her entire book. But her advocating and coming out about it when it's like genuinely so traumatic, I it's like genuinely inspiring and I think it's great that she's doing that because not a lot of people are aware of it. And so yeah, I would definitely recommend that. I love celebrity memoirs. I'm going to be honest. I I literally love them for some reason. And so I definitely recommend it. But yeah, we just have one more book and that was another one for our little TBR jar prompt and it was a mystery or a thriller and I decided to go with A Good Girl's Guide to Murder. Rated this four stars. It was so amazing. Guys, if you read this, you need to get it like physically because I love the layout of it, um, the clippings, the interviews. I thought it was so good. Um, Pip was a really interesting main character. Again, there's two more books in this series similar to Me Before You, so I need to continue on this series. Um, but yeah, those were all the books I read this month. I had a really good reading book or reading month. I feel like if I averaged the ratings, I feel like I would have something in the four stars, which I think is so exciting. Um, but yeah, I'm excited for May. I'm not doing any May TBR because, guys, I am going out of the country. So, if you're watching until then, you'll see all my vlogs soon. But because I'm going out of the country, I just, I don't want to do a May TBR, TBR because you have no idea. I usually don't tend to stick to my TBR. Um, but anyways, yeah, I'm so excited. It's going to be so fun. Um, so if you're looking for a May TBR, it's not coming. But, and I probably won't do a June TBR, but there will be lots of European vlogs and I'm sure I'll be reading. And so, yeah, that's just, that's the update. Um, finishing final strong and I will talk to you guys later. So, yeah, that's it. Peace and love. Bye guys.